Teach Pre-K and today I am going to show you two different ways that I keep track of who has had a turn during whole group or circle time doing specific things. So let's say we are doing a smart board game and I want to make sure everybody has a turn. It's really hard, especially if you know kids are crawling around and moving around they're not always in the same place so I came up with a little system I told you guys that I color code my class that my morning preschool class is green and my afternoon pre-k class is purple so what I've done is I got craft sticks that are green and purple and on these sticks I have written their names like this one is Huey so since I know my morning preschool class is green and I'm doing a smart board game maybe with my morning preschool class, I will pick a green stick and I'll go, oh my gosh, it's Arthur's turn. Then I have an empty jar and I put Arthur's stick in there and I keep going until I have everyone's stick from the morning class in there. Uh, my afternoon class is purple and this is Greer's stick so I do the same thing um, another thing this is really good for is if I'm doing something let's say we're doing some kind of song where the kids participate and I'll have three or four kids that participate in a day or five or six kids and they all want a turn I just keep track I pull the stick I put the stick in the jar. I pull the stick and those those are the kids that get the turn and then I know who's had a turn and the sticks that are left are the kids that haven't had a turn and I always tell the kids that if I pull your stick and you're not ready and waiting like we know we should with your hands in your lap and, and sitting up nice and tall um, I'll have to skip over you and wait and pull your stick another time to see if you're ready. Because usually there's some kids that, you know, I don't expect them to sit perfectly, but they will be crawling on a friend or poking somebody or kids roll around on the rug, you guys. They just do. And we have to work them towards, you know, being able to sit still and attend for short periods of time. So that'll just get them to attend for a short period of time and kind of build up their stamina for all of that. Um, and I showed you guys, if you saw my video on prepping for the new year, I showed you guys these checkoff sheets. And I also keep two of these at my Circle Time Center because I do name of the day. And as I do name of the day, I cross off the names. Let's say I did Arthur. I cross off Arthur's name. And then Axel and Benny and I go on and on like that. So that helps me keep track. But what if not only do I have name of the day, but it's um, December and I'm doing my advent calendar. And I have an advent calendar that multiple kids can do things. So I'll get another one and I might write on here for me, Advent Calendar. So I wrote Advent Calendar on there. I don't know if you can see that because there's a little bit of a glare, but I'll do the same thing. I'll just cross those names off the list here. And then once we're done with our Advent Calendar, I just erase that and it comes clean. So I've got those for both classes. Green was for my morning class and purple is for my afternoon class. Um, that way, things are fair. You can do that for things like um, your job chart or if you don't really have a job chart, but it's like, okay, who's going to be the line leader today? Let me pick a stick. And you'll pick a stick and it's, oh, Eve's the line leader today. And you put it in the other jar so you know Eve has had a turn to be the line leader or if there's a special job the kids always love to go down to the supply room with me to go get the snacks out of the fridge or the paint off the paint shelves and it's just another way that I can keep track of who has had a turn and who hasn't had a turn 
and the kids know I do that too so they know that I will get to them. I have shown them everyone's name on a stick. I'll, I'll do something like, okay, let's make sure I have a stick for everybody. And I'll be like, everybody stand up. When I call your name, when I read your name on the stick, you sit down and we'll go through that. So then I'll say, see, you know, everyone has a stick and that means everyone will have a turn. Maybe not today. It might take a, a few days, but everyone will have a turn. Um, and it's just kind of a good way to kind of curtail the, I haven't had a turn, let you know, that kind of whining or the kids who get really upset if they don't get a turn or if someone says, I haven't had a turn yet. And I, I'll say, yeah, you had a turn yesterday. I'll come to this jar and I'll go, this is the jar of people who've already had a turn. And look, Nora, there you are. So yeah, you did have a turn. Um, they do that with name of the day and I always show them and I'll go, you had a turn, I crossed your name off. I'm just getting to everyone else. There's lots of names on this list. And sometimes I'll turn that into a little counting exercise and we'll count the names or we'll count the sticks and we'll see how many people have had a turn, how many people are left. So you can kind of almost turn it into a math talk too. But um, just another little hint, um, you might have like their names on little stones in like some little drawstring bag or something. I've seen a lot of different things, but this is just my method. The colors are what keeps me on track because I'm such a visual person and I need to see what's right there in front of me. But I know this was a super short one today. Um, if you guys have any great things that you do for turn taking, I would love to hear them because I'm always wanting to incorporate new things into my classroom. So thanks for watching. Hit subscribe or the like button or leave me a comment.